Hey guys, what is up? It is Mass here, and welcome back to a brand new video. As you guys see by the title of today's video, we're going to be talking about what are Kawaki's intentions at the end of Baruto chapter 61 and leading into chapter 62. So this has been built up for a little bit of time here because we know that Kawaki admires Naruto in a way that he sees him more as a father figure, and Amato even calls it madness, really. And Amato has been getting into Kawaki's head about implementing that karma back on him and using it for a weapon. And we know that Kawaki thought that it was his fault that Jigen attacked Naruto and kind of whooped him and Sasuke's ass. And then Ishiki came and kind of whooped Naruto and Sasuke's ass. And, you know, we, Naruto almost died. So Kawaki has been feeling the wrath of a lot of stuff lately. And he doesn't want to put more people in the Hidden Leaf Village at risk because he doesn't really still feel at home there. He doesn't feel accepted because those people are in a panic about Kawaki because he is kind of you know, a walking time bomb, because at any other time, you know, some other threat, which is code at this point, could come for Kawaki, and, you know, the leaf could be in danger again, so Kawaki ends up erasing his chakra and leaving, and as stated by Ida, it is said that, you know, he's an Otsutsuki, so it's a new sort of ability that he could erase his chakra and leave the hidden leaf, so he leaves the hidden leaf, and Baruto and Ida are the only ones that can figure this out, and Ida tells Ko that, you know, Kaoki leaves the Hidden Leaf. And, you know, nobody knows why. But the true reason why is because he doesn't want to put his new family and everyone else in danger. So, potentially he's going to go confront Code himself. But we do know by Code's actions that Code says that where Kaoki, he has Ida where Kaoki is. And he is going to go confront Kaoki himself. So, will we end up seeing Code versus Kaoki somewhere away from the Hidden Leaf because Kawaki doesn't want more people to be in danger and wants this to kind of all be over with, even though we know it's nowhere close to being over with. At least that that's what we think, and we hope it's not anywhere close to being over with. So I don't know if Kawaki and Code are going to face off, but Kawaki wanted to leave the Hidden Leaf to kind of keep the peace in the Hidden Leaf because, you know, he is that, like, walking time bomb, and at any other time someone can come... And attack again he wants to let everyone be safe and i think that's more of what it was he wanted everyone to be safe and did it for their own protection if you guys did enjoy remember to leave a like comment subscribe i'm out here guys thank you all for watching peace